Arabic speakers, the radical ladies. We used to have actually a, a group, a hook, uh, with Matilda Consolano for years. We used to get together and they would tell stories, many cuentos, and I would learn songs from them. And uh, unfortunately, quite a few of them have passed away, passed on, but I'm in touch with uh, a few of them. Uh, but they came from all over. They came from Salonika, they came from even Bulgaria, and, and that was my first introduction to all the different kinds of Sephardic communities. I was very fortunate to visit Greece and uh, Sarajevo, and, and uh, bring back to them also the songs that they had forgotten, which is something I would learn from the, the or recordings, also from Joan Bressler, who's sitting here, <laughs> who's <laughs> contributed so much to the collection of Latino songs and old records, and uh, from the uh, Latino Authority, uh, from the uh, Kol Israel and Moshe Shaul um, recordings on the radio that they, they helped me with. Quite a few different songs, and um, as far as Matilda Conserano, she's uh, very well known for her dictionary and about 30 books uh, that she's written in Ladino. And from these elderly ladies, these old ladies, she collected many stories. And since then, she's been all over the world, and so she collected uh, many versions. She just came out with a new, a new book, another Cuentos, another stories book. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And for years, we in Jerusalem, we used to do something called Vini Cantaremos, uh, sing along in Ladino. Unfortunately, she moved to Petah Tikva, uh, some uh, town which is uh, Rekanati. It's quite a, a Sephardic center. There are many uh, Ladino speakers from from uh, Salonika. So she feels at home, and she's La Rena. She's like the queen there. <laughs> she's doing. She's doing all her activities and still writing books and many groups come, young groups uh, of, uh, from schools and they learn about